In today's video, we're gonna show you how to create some cool hover effects using built-in functions inside of Divi. So we're looking here at the front end visual builder for Divi. We've got um, or just a regular section. We're gonna add in a full width row and then we're going to add in our button module. Cause in this video, we're gonna take this button module and create it, you know, just create a cool looking button. So we're gonna leave click here. I'm gonna add in just the regular link, right? And then we're gonna go into the design tab. We're gonna center align this button and we're gonna go under button. This is where all the magic happens, right? So we're gonna create a custom style. Now here's a, here's a side note. This is just a little extra for the video. If you needed to make this your style for buttons throughout the entire site, you would hit this edit global button here. It's gonna flip things around. You go into design, back to button. And now we're gonna use custom button style Every single button that you add by default will have this style moving forward. So let's see what we're gonna do here. And so we shrink down the text size a little bit. Um, let's go with uh, black button text. And we're going to leave the background transparent. And then we're gonna come down to the border, create a border width of one, make the button black, and take the radius down to zero. That way things are but are really uh, squared off, right? So we've got this button, you got the little icon. I'm not the biggest fan of this, so we're gonna get rid of the icon. Now it's just, it doesn't look like anything happens when you click or when you hover over the button. But that's what we need to change. So we're gonna go back up, and this is where Divi is really powerful, right? So we're gonna go to button text size, or button text color, and when you hover over this, we're going to go to this button right here, which gives us the regular and a hover state. We're gonna to go to the background and we're gonna do the exact same thing where there's desktop and then there's hover. And then we're gonna to go to border color and we're gonna do the same thing. So that gives us the hover options that we need to really control for the button. So we're gonna click on hover and we're going to change this. So on hover, I want it to invert. So we're gonna go with a black, I'm sorry, with a white text color. The background is going to be black and the border is going to stay the same. So in this case, we're just gonna leave it black. So now, whenever the button's in its normal state, we're gonna do black or white background with a black border, and then when we hover over it, it should go to black and have the background the same way. Just because I want this to look a little bit differently, we're gonna change some of the, the font. I'm gonna do all uppercase. I'm gonna go semi-bold. And I think we're gonna shrink down the size of the font just a bit. So perfect. This is what it looks like when we're not over it. And then this is what it'll look like when we hover over it. So we can hit save. It's gonna ask if you want this to be your default. We're gonna hit yes. And then we're gonna exit. So now if we were to create another section, add another row and then add another button module, it's going to look exactly the same style as what we had before, right? We're gonna align this one in the center and let's actually save this page. We're just gonna save it and then we'll exit. Make sure we got that thing saved here and published. And when we take this out to the front end, you're gonna see the button in action. So as we hover over this, you're gonna see it exactly like what we planned, right? So it's very easy and it's a great way to do hover effects inside of Divi and you can do this with any module, but this is how you do it with a button and set that as a global button. So thanks for checking out another tutorial. I hope this has brought you some value and given you an idea on some things you can do with buttons inside of Divi. We appreciate you. We ask that you hit the subscribe button, share this video with any of your people who may get some value from it. If you, if you wanna get notifications of the newest videos that we put out when we drop more tips, turn the bell on, make sure you get those notifications. Otherwise, we will see you in the next video. Have an awesome day. Take care and stay safe.